begin with the standoff at the Justice Department. Pete Williams is NBC News' justice correspondent, and Josh Schlederman is an NBC News national political reporter live at the White House. All right, Pete, what more can you tell us about this announcement? follows. Uh, this has been a rapidly unfolding thing over the past 12 hours. What happened is last night the attorney general announced in a press release that the person who is now the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission, Jay Clayton, would be taking over the job of U.S. attorney in Manhattan, that the president would nominate him for that job, and that Jeffrey Berman was stepping down in two weeks. Uh, that immediately produced uh, a blistering reply from Berman, who said, oh, no, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. I uh, have no intention of resigning. I haven't resigned. And I will stay in this job until my successor is confirmed by the Senate because, he says, he was appointed by a court. So what happened is normally the president or the attorney general under certain circumstances can appoint a U.S. attorney. And if there's a vacancy for a certain amount of time, a, a court can appoint a U.S. attorney. And that's how Berman got the job. So Berman came to work this morning saying, I'm still the U.S. attorney. And just a short time mm -hmm. ago, uh, the attorney general sent Berman a letter saying, no, I have directed the president to fire you and you are fired as of today. Now, uh, what we're told here is that, that Clayton had approached the president and said that he was interested in the job, that he was leaving the SEC job and was interested in the U.S. attorney's position. And the president basically said, fine, make it happen. Uh, as you know, it has set off alarm bells because, as you mentioned, the U.S. Attorney's Office in New York is uh, prosecuting two former business associates of Rudy Giuliani, is doing an investigation of Giuliani's business practices and other sensitive cases. And Berman's statement sort of suggested, you know, I need to stay around to make sure everything is handled on the up and up. Uh, Barr uh, fires back at that in his letter today saying uh, you have chosen public spectacle over public service by insisting that you're going to stay and that you don't need to stay to make sure things are handled appropriately and that the uh, bar says he has asked the Justice Department's Inspector General Mark, Michael Horowitz to in essence monitor what's going on in the U.S. Attorney's Office to make sure that everything is handled appropriately. And I should add that uh, people in the U.S. Attorney's Office have told us in the last 12 hours or so that they don't know of any pending case uh, that would cause the administration to want to get rid of Jeffrey Berman. So mm -hmm. from what we know, this appears to be the president just wanted a different person in the job. Whether the president had no love for Jeffrey Berman, that's as may be, but that he liked Clayton better. That's what this that's what we're told this turns out to be. Josh, does that comport with what you're hearing from the White House? Now wanted to talk a lot about this today because they really want Attorney General Barr and the Justice Department to be taking the lead in discussing this, and so they've been deferring questions to them. But I think one of the questions that has come up repeatedly in the last 12 hours or so is if what the White House and the Justice Department are saying uh, is correct, as Pete was just laying out, which is that this isn't about trying to kill some case that was ongoing or stop an investigation, but merely the president deciding he wanted someone else to be in that role, then why do it in such a chaotic fashion like this on a Friday night uh, with the U.S. attorney apparently unwitting to the fact this was happening, saying he learned about it from a press release uh, without actually having a Senate confirmed person in the wings ready to take over. It's created a lot of smoke uh, and a lot of Democrats, particularly on the Hill, saying where there's smoke with this administration, there is often fire. And that's why we're seeing a lot more questions being raised, uh, even as the president takes this move to fire the U.S. attorney and try to put someone else in that job. Pete, I wonder what you make of the way that this is now playing out in public. <laughs> well, what, what we're told by the Justice Department people is that they had approached Berman earlier, that he, in essence, he knew this was coming that they told him that the president wanted Clayton for the job and that they offered, and, and as a matter of fact, Barr says as much now in the letter, that they offered him either the job of chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission, the job that Jay Clayton was leaving, or the assistant attorney general in charge of the civil division at the Justice Department, which would be in a strictly, uh, you know, sort of chain of command position, uh, a step up and that Berman expressed no interest in either one of those. So they say it's not like this was a bolt out of the blue for him, that he knew that something was coming. 
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.